um, your, your mom and them here, mother and them? Oh, yes, yeah, right. We get mother and father to come up and stand with you. Um, your mother's here, right? Mother, daddy. Brother Terry slipped out on us. We'll get him. Any of the family that wants to stand with either the husband or the wife, you're welcome to. If we ain't got no room, we'll tear down a wall. Put some of you in the baptismal pool. Amen. Can you get up here? Do you need to sit down? Or you know, get no, I'm good. Right, this time I'm going to let Brother Greg say a few words before we continue with the service. I noticed that in the scriptures that as he was reading, it said that when she had the child, that the sister went down to the waters and watched over that child. And just as soon as Pharaoh's daughter received the child, she immediately said, hey, do you want me to go get a Hebrew woman to nurse this child? And we all know by the story she went straight to mama. It was her sister. And she got the one to nurse her. It goes on. He's giving back. People talk about Egypt looks so much different than the rest of the world. Pharaoh would have never accepted anything that didn't look like him in his house. That ought to give you an idea that they were just like they were recognized, but they were something different. I wrote down a little note in my Bible a while ago. Boy, I love to bootleg off other people's messages. But I, I wrote out, there's more in you than being a Pharaoh. There's more in you. Now, we have Sis here. If you go and you read the story of Zachariah's wife, Hannah, she goes down, she's childless, she can't bear children. Daddy never got mad at her. He treated her better than he did all of his other wives. And she was blessed. She conceived and she promised God, I'll give this child back to you if you'll just let me have a child for my husband. And she took the child and she grew it until about the age of two years old. She overshadowed it. She looked at it. she done all these things. Then she took the child back to the house of God to be raised in instructions all the days of its life. But this, I, I've never heard this preached out of Exodus before on a baby dedication. That's beautiful, son. <laughs> I mean, that's anointed of God. There's one thing you ladies in here you're a sister to Sister Victoria are you not it's your duty to watch over her child when she's not there it's your duty to make sure that this child is raised in the right Situations. It's your duty to make sure. Well, it's not my child, but she's your sister, so therefore you are commanded of God to do this. The daddy's job is to work and earn the living and to nurture the things from the world that it takes to raise this child and make it healthy and happy. It's the duty of you brothers to make sure that if something's going on with Brother Adam that you step to his rescue and you step to the other children, not just them, all the children. I, I thought I saw you back there this morning. You're supposed to have sung me a song about the breath. I love that song. She just had a male child and we got a daughter. God, you know what did I say the other day? He said that he would add to the church daily them that are to be saved. We got a man child and a queen of Israel. Oh, God, are we blessed. 
but it's you men to make sure you don't throw all this off on them brother Terry and sister Rhonda live way up in Yankee town they say it's below the Mason Dixon so they're okay but to us Atlanta's Yankee town huh so that means that we as fathers are to step in and help brother Adam all of us you're just as responsible as they are and I charge you this morning to help raise these children now sister Sarah she lived way off down there below them nets she might even take some back home with her so we have to make sure that we pray that God sends brothers and sisters in their lives to help them to send moms and dads that they can look up to that will help lead them in the right direction so we have this this morning we're blessed brother Terry got two at one shot just a couple of weeks apart and he got one on both sides see there won't be no jealousy want to get blue for Christmas and want to get pink for Christmas they don't have to worry about somebody being jealous Amen. How many loves the Lord? Amen. Amen. That's adorable, ain't he? Why don't you lift your hands this way and let's pray together. Heavenly Father God, the name of Jesus, Lord, as this husband and this wife come together, Lord, for their little child, their beautiful little baby girl, Lord, we appreciate you and for, for bringing such a wonderful life into our presence, God. And we ask you, Lord, that you join these two together stronger than they've ever even imagined, God, but with a unity, Lord, that surpasses anything that they ever could believe possible, God. And bless them in a supernatural way, Lord. The things that's in the way right now and it seems to be not moving, we ask you just to remove it, Lord. The financial barriers and the independent barriers, God, we ask you just to remove those and let them be able to live more freer and more fuller as a family as I know they both desire. And God, and we will give you all the praise and the glory and the honor for it. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Heavenly Father God, for this little baby, Lord. Lord, as Miss Adeline here, God, she's just an adorable little thing, healthy and beautiful. Lord, we, this morning, Lord, we want to just give her to you. Lord, we need that in every sense, God. You're the only one that can take, take care of this child physically as well as spiritually, Lord. The mother does her part, the father his part, but God, you're the one that makes all the organs work right and Lord, all the, 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 body, the bodily things function properly. And God, and we believing for perfect health, God. Perfect wealth, Lord. Perfect prosperity in every way imaginable, God, spiritually as well as naturally. Lord, that she'll grow to, to be a beautiful mother in the kingdom of the Lord. And God, and she'll sing praises to you both day and night. And Lord, and she will always and always give praise to you. And Lord, and when she marries and has a family of her own, she will raise her own. Lord, just as her mother has raised her, and I'm sure, God, that the, according to her mother's faith that it will be properly and in the way that you've called her to be raised. Lord, we give you all the praise for this little child, and we ask you that you bless it in the name of the Lord Jesus.
<laughs> she got to share. Learn to share.
God, we thank you for all that you give us. Lord, as we, Lord, don't pretend to know anything other than what you show us. Raising up fathers God is raising up father to carry on his great word. They have been trained and instructed from their birth. God is raising Perfection to earn. God is raising a father. God is raising a father. Every in his great word. They have been trained and instructed. Brother Adam, I thought about this. As Brother Jonathan walked around and had everybody pray the blessings of God over him, it was no different than the men of old, the shepherds, the wise men. They all brought gifts to the baby. You had the greatest gifts this morning as God's blessings for this child. as it was, it's no different than Jesus. No different than Mary holding that baby. No different than Joseph sitting there proud that he didn't throw her away. You had gold brought to this child today. Give the Lord a hand clap of praise for this beautiful family. I want to do one more thing. Where's that offering basket? We want to take up a special offering this morning. I don't, don't, uh, I ain't going to keep you no longer. Just a special offering. Come by here. And this is for Brother Greg McKinney. He's been out of work. He's been you see his foot there he's really been suffering and you know we need, how many knows we need to look after one another he ain't been able to work and get out and do the things that you gotta do in order to provide for his family so if you can I know we done took up an offering for the tithes and offerings but if you can give a special offering we would appreciate it how many loves the Lord I just are here to go to brother Greg and try to help him and his little family out we're going to dismiss and you can bring your offering around. Heavenly Father, God, we thank you for all that you've done. We thank you for the beautiful people you sent, the wonderful, beautiful babies that you have in our presence. Lord, we thank you for it. And we ask you to continue to bless us, pour your spirit out upon us. In the name of Jesus, the church said amen. Go with the Lord. He'll go with you. We'll be back here at 5 o'clock tonight. Look forward to seeing you all. God bless.